What's up, well, pups? Your boy Wolf here. Today, I wanted to show you guys how I made all of my servers and how I'm going to link them all together so you guys can go play on. But today, in this episode, I'm only just going to go over the basics. So, there's going to be a Dropbox link in the download in the description. That didn't make any sense. There's going to be a Dropbox download link in the description. Let me re say that. When you download that file, it's going to give you this little file right here. It's going to be called Server Files. So you can go ahead and just take out these plugins, just plop it on your desktop. You really don't need that, right? So Spigot. Spigot is pretty much the executable jar file, as it says in the description. What it does is you use this run file I'm going to provide, and you open it up, and it's going to generate all the files you're going to need to run the server. So it's going to open up a little CMD folder here, or file, and it's going to load through, and it's going to create all the files, and then it's going to say you need to accept the EULA. So you're going to want to click enter and go to the EULA. You can edit with whatever you want. I'm going to use uh, Notepad++, which is probably the best thing to do if you're going to create servers to uh, script for the essentials and everything. But you're going to change the false to true. Just click the little save button, exit out, relaunch. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Relaunch the server. Now it's going to generate the world. It's going to generate the plugins. It's going to generate... All that good little stuff, the logs, the ban IPs, the whitelist, all that good little stuff, see? And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wait for it to finish. Come on. You can do it. Almost there. It's just going to generate a whole bunch of little worlds. Let me just close that. If it gets corrupted, whatever. But right after that, so these are going to be your worlds. So say you have a custom world you want to add to your server. All you have to do would be to delete this world right there and then paste in the world that you want, the actual file for the world, rename it to world, all lowercase, and then relaunch the server, and it will, it will load that world. But yet, if you spawned in the world, for say, if you were building the map, and you have it really far away, you would need the coordinates to go to, because you would spawn in where you spawned in whenever you started creating the map, if that made any freaking sense. But anyway, so here in your band player, it's going to show you all the people you banned, we, uh, pretty much using essentials. I mean, you really can't ban people. On, I mean, I guess you can on the console. But I'm also going to provide these little four little uh, other executable jar files. These are probably the best ones to use. It's going to be essentials. You get essentials chat, which pretty much just lets you use different colors and prefixes. So a group manager pretty much lets you pe put people in ranks. Um, spawn pretty much so people spawn at the right place. And essentials, you can have the slash like TPA, all that good little stuff. Uh, these, this is for 1.9. All these files here, uh, Spigot is for 1. Point, or sorry, 1.8. Why did I say 1.9? That, that version of Minecraft is AIDS. So I'm just going to go ahead and reload this right here. Alright, now you also will get this little server.properties file here. Now this is pretty interesting. So you can open up this. Right here, you can tell you generation settings. So if you were to do like a different modded survival or something, and you have like a certain plugin for like biomes of plenty, you would put biomes oh plenty, oh plenty, like that, something like that. I don't know. I don't know exactly, but you have to look it up. Uh, permission level op. You don't need to change that. World level name. You just keep that. That's that's the world level name you're gonna put if you want to copy and paste that new world. Your server port. What 25565 is the default Minecraft port. So say you want to have more than one server, you would want to connect this to your Bungie port, um, uh, port, which you guys probably don't know what that is. I'm going to go in depth with that in a future video. But if you want just to use the same port as Minecraft, so all you got to do is enter an IP with no other, you know, colon numbers. Just leave that 25565. Seed IP or server IP. Do not change that at all. It's literally, it will make your entire server just crash and it won't work. Do not touch none of this right here. Alright. So, build height. Do not change that. It won't do anything. Spawn NPC. That's up to you. Whitelist. That's up to you. Uh, online mode. Always keep that to true unless you're using Bungie, which I'll show you guys later. PvP true. If you want somebody to use a custom resource pack when they join the server, you would have to put it into a Dropbox file and paste the URL right there. Command block output. You can go and set that as true if you like. Uh, max players 50 spawn monsters true view distance 10 generate structures true now the MOTD would be this little message right here let me show you you see how it says mine a minecraft server that's what that would change oh oops shit oopsie yeah it could be called a minecraft server so let's say youtube test and also, if you guys look up the Minecraft color code, you can do and C and L, and it will change it to red in caps. So let's go ahead and just, where is my little file here? Reload. Oh, somebody joined the server. 
Huh, that's kind of funny. Alright, reload it. Oh, that did not work. Huh. I wonder why that didn't work. Did it load in all the... Oh, it didn't load in the central shell. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, anyway, that you would have to actually close the server. Let me actually try that real quick. That's kind of odd. That never happened to me before. Uh, by the way, you don't want to just close out that window. You want to do slash save all. Or not slash, but type save all, save space all, and then stop. Because otherwise it will corrupt your world and everything that you built will be disappeared with the chunks that are missing. So, go right here. Refresh. Refresh. Come on. Don't make me look like a fucking scrub. Don't you do this to me. But yeah, as you can see, you can just give your IP to anyone else, as you guys can see. This is all default stuff you'll spawn in with this gear if you use this plugin, but you can edit these out. These are considered kits. You can add as many as you want. I'll probably do another video of how to do in-depth, you know, with that kind of thing. It's going to be kind of laggy for you guys because I'm, you know, I'm recording my monitor. I'm not actually recording the gameplay, so it's going to be kind of laggy. Maybe that'll help a little bit for you guys. Anyway, so besides the point. That did not change at all. Oh well. But that that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you pretty much do it. So let's go ahead and just take that out. But that's what you do. Spawn protection. You always want to set this as zero because you would need world guard and world edit to be able to claim areas. To say I wanted to do a faction server. And I did slash set spawn, right? Which is what the central spawn is for. So people in the game would spawn there and you would have crates or chests or signs and they wouldn't be able to access them because spawn protection's on even though you claimed it with world guard and let them actually use it this happened to me once or twice with my uh, other scripting buddy mr nito we were actually trying to make uh, the beta testing of the faction server and i completely forgot that i had just copied and pasted the spigot in the run file i thought i had it a backup from another faction server but apparently not so i actually had spawn protection set to 16 and we literally deleted the entire server like under not understanding why it was not working so you always want to set that to zero so look up world guard 1.8 and world uh, edit 1.8 those two are like the best plugins to use but yeah that's pretty much it i mean uh, that's really all i can say logs if you have any errors with logs it just tells you all the boot up logs right here so you can see i left the game i joined the game all like a little stuff yeah uh so yeah then again essentials plugins warps i'll, I'll, I'll show y'all guys this junk in the next episode but yeah, that's pretty much it. You don't need to change anything else here. Help, you don't need that ops. That's, you don't even need to change that. If you wanted to op yourself, just do slash op. Or not slash. What I keep saying that? You don't have to do slash. You don't got to do that. You just do op. And then it's Wolfie. YT would be my gamer tag. And it would op you. So I would be able to join the server. Boom. And I can do slash commands like GMC. You know, fly. I like a little stuff. You know, like kit. You know, kit D tools. I can just get all the kits I want because I'm I don't, I'm, an, I'm like considered op. I'm considered the owner of the server, so that's pretty much how you do that. So yeah, oh that's really ugly. Anyway, that, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next review for this video. Say please. And I know they really wish we would fall till we fall on the big bad wolf.